Hello, in this video we're going to look at this Cody bat problem. It's a Java problem, an array is 2 called centered average. So we're going to return the centered average of an array of ints, which we'll say is the mean average of the values, except ignoring the largest and smallest values in the array. There are multiple copies of the smallest value, ignore just one copy, and likewise for the largest value. Use int division to produce your final average. We may assume that the array is like 3 or more. So let's just take a second and remind ourselves really quickly of what is int division. Int division is the process of dividing two integers and simply removing the decimals. We do not round. Okay. So an example might be something if I had, um, I don't know, 9 divided by 10. Um, because Java sees both 9 as an integer and 10 as an integer, it assumes you want a result as an integer. So 9 divided by 10, even though a math is 0 0.9, it simply just gives you 0. That's a division. So what we need to do with this problem is we need to find the max and min element. We need to find the sum, and we need to find the average, removing the max and min element. So I'm going to start this problem actually, and I'm just going to do this incorrectly. I'm going to show a really standard algorithm that's really important with arrays, and that is finding the sum of all the elements. So to find the sum of all the elements, we're going to make an integer called sum and set it equal to zero. You could call it anything you want. I'm going to call it sum. So to find the sum of an array of ints, we're going to look at each element, and we're going to pull it out and add it to the sum. So I'm simply going to say 4 int i equals 0. i is less than nums.length. i is equal to i plus 1. So let's remind ourselves. This is a standard loop for looking at each index of an array. And because the array that's passed into this question is called nums, that's what we get to calculate the length. And I simply put sum is equal to sum plus nums i. And I can find the average pretty easily simply by saying return sum divided by nums dot length. And this will run, but incorrectly. Now the ones that work correctly just happen to be lucky. But let's remind ourselves what we haven't done is we haven't found the maximum or minimum and we haven't subtracted it from the sum. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna find the maximum or minimum in the same loop. Some people might do three different loops, but I'm gonna do this all in the same time. So I'm gonna make an integer called max, and I'm gonna set it to the first element of the array. I'm gonna make an integer called min, and I'm gonna set it to the first element of the array. And now I'm simply gonna, as I look at each element, decide if it is the maximum or minimum. So max is equal to math.max, we use a static method max in the math class. Max common nums at i. Min is equal to math dot min. Min common nums at i. And now I have to modify my calculation a bit. I'm going to do this incorrectly initially. Let's see if you can figure out what I did wrong here. So all I have to do is take the total, which includes the max and min, and I'm going to subtract the min and subtract the max. Now, I'm not going to divide it by the length of the array because I've subtracted two elements from there. So I'm going to take the length of the array minus two. And notice how every situation is wrong. The reason that this is wrong is because of order of operations. Remember, I have to calculate the, the sum minus the max min for the numerator and then divide it by the length minus two in the denominator. And there we go. Again, this highlights this really important idea of finding the sum of all the elements in an array of integers. I hope this video helped, and don't hesitate to ask questions. Have a great day.